Hey gang, AV here, and welcome to my review of the Spin Masters DC Robin figure. Um, this is the very first figure I've ever purchased from this line. Um, if you're not if you're not aware, they are currently available in stores now, like Target and Walmart. There are only about seven dollars each. They are of the three and three quarter inch scale, and. Uh, I thought Robin looked pretty decent. I needed a Robin in that size, and this looks pretty promising to me. Um, some of them look a little, for lack of a better term, childish um, compared to some of the other figures that I've collected over the years. Uh, I kind of look for the more realistic looking figures. Um, these look more like, again, for lack of a better term, um, toys, kids' toys, you know. But uh, I figured Robin is able to get away with looking a little on the uh, childish side so especially in contrast to Batman when you have them together on the shelf so I figured I'd give it a shot um, so anyway here he is in the package um, he comes with three mystery accessories um, apparently there's like a, a gimmick with this line so that depending on the accessories he comes with that dictates where he's supposed to have his next battle um, as alluded to somewhat on the back um there are like four different arenas and they're all color coded with the different accessories and everything i'll be honest with you that aspect to these figures means nothing to me at all i bought it for the figure itself um i've seen other reviews and the accessories that come with these things are typically kind of unusable they're so oversized and uh a little ridiculous looking with, with some obnoxious colors and whatnot. But anyway, I'm not trying to tear it apart before I've even opened the damn thing. I just wanted to point out that I'm not really gonna focus on that. So, product shot of the figure. Like I said, the four different arenas that, that uh, his weapons are supposed to tell you he, he's having a battle in. Um, bunch of legal jargon there at the bottom. Here's the top of the box, just says DC. There's the side with the bat symbol, DC. Front of the box, we saw already. This side's got nothing. Bottom, it's just got a barcode. Very basic packaging. So, not much else to see here. This is a first edition with a hologram. Whatever, let's tear right here as per the instructions. There we go. Rip it open. There is tape there holding it. Let me get my trusty X-Acto knife. All right, there we go. And he's got weapons lockers. As usual, with everything else on my channel, we're gonna have a look at the accessories first. So, do that by basically using that puncture hole there and ripping down. In the first box, he has a little miniature bow staff. Which has some decent art, uh, decent molded detail on it. It's not too bad. I can see him using that. And it's, the color isn't obnoxious either, which is cool. He comes with a sword, which is silver. Again, decent molded uh, detail. I could see him using that. Don't mind that at all. And uh, next, we have a red grapple gun, which is very oversized, and I'll be honest, I'm never gonna use this. <laughs> so, two out of three ain't bad, I guess, huh? All right, so, can't complain. Remove the figure from the bubble. There we go. He comes with a booklet. We will have a look at the booklet. Let's get rid of this stuff. Toss that off to the side. Here's the booklet. Which, again, shows off the different battle environments and explains the different colors associated with where those battles take place. And uh, 
based on the accessories he came with, it looks like he's supposed to fight at the, uh, he is a sky detective. That's great. You know what? I'm going to sleep well tonight knowing that. So let's crumple that up and throw that off to the side. <laughs> Get that out of here. And uh, remove the figure itself from the bubble. Oh, he's pretty well secured in there. He's got a lot of uh, little rubber bands holding him in. Did not see that coming. All right, come on now. Get out of there. Toss that away. Okay, here he is. Not too bad, let's have a closer look. Still got that stuff on him. The paint and the mold is really not that bad for this guy. You definitely get what you pay for at seven dollars. I mean, he's you can't really complain. Looks good. Uh, my only gripe so far, right off the bat, is the uh, the hole straight through his cape, so that he has the access to the back peg hole. I don't like that um, because that is going to rip off of there sooner rather than later. Especially since it looks like on mine. Oh, no, no, no. It was just the way it was folded. It looked like one side was thinner than the other. But it was just folded weird. Alright, but anyway. I still don't like that. Uh, let's look at his articulation, shall we? Alright, so. I apologize. My camera's all over the place with the focus. Um, his head does a full 360. Doesn't really look up and down at all. Just does a full 360. Arms do a full 360. They go up about that high. There's nothing at the bicep. His elbows do 90 degrees down and up, which is not that bad. Nothing at the wrist. There is nothing at the, at the torso at all. His legs, can go out, that's a good thing. He can do the can-can, about like that. He does have an upper thigh swivel, so he can rotate his leg. He has another swivel right above his knee. He's got a single knee joint, and that's it. Nothing at his ankles. So all in all, for a, I, I, you have to be honest. I mean, for a seven dollar figure, this is not bad at all. I am not uh, disappointed really at all. I'm pretty happy, frankly. Uh, he looks pretty decent, and uh, he's better articulated than I was expecting. I mean, I did watch a, a review or two about the guy, but uh. Still wasn't 100% sure what I was in for. $7, it was worth the, uh, worth the, uh, chance, and I'm glad I made it. So anyway, let's do a size comparison. Here he is next to the, uh, 1989 DC Multiverse 4-inch Batman. And he doesn't look too bad next to him. Uh, they measure up... Just like you would expect, actually. Looks pretty decent. Alright. All these little rubber band parts are in the way. Um, let's see how he looks next to the uh, more modern Haya Toys Injustice 2 Batman. Which is a, a true 4-inch figure. Again, measures up pretty nice. Alright. Let's see how he does next to 3 3 quarter inch G.I. Joe. Roughly about the same size. Actually, a little bit taller. And 
and last but not least, since I still have him out from a previous uh, review, here he is next to a uh, four-inch Crimson Horseman figure from the G.I. Joe line. And this guy is just, he's, he's just tall. He towers over most of my other figures, too, so. Not too bad. Not too bad. All in all, I'm, I'm very happy, especially considering he was a cheap figure. Um, I needed a Robin, and he's, he's going to fit the part on my shelf. He looks a little childish, but it's Robin. He should look a little childish. Uh, I like him. And uh, if you need a Robin in this size for uh, on the cheap, and uh, you, you don't mind skimping a tiny bit on the uh, articulation, I think he's solid. So, anyway, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.